Busy Girl, Leanne here with another quick tip to help you get into action and grow your business. This year is moving fast. I mean, last week marked the start of Q3. Third quarter, how did that happen already? It seems like the year is just flying by, and I think the end of, or the beginning of Q3, rather, is a great time to take a moment to take stock of where you're at and maybe do just a little bit of planning for the rest of the year. Now, I like to look at things on a quarterly basis. Of course, it's really important to have those year-long goals, five years, ten years even, and to think in the long term. However, looking at things quarterly is a great way to just really stay on track, and I think it's a bit more manageable. Now, I know this doesn't sound very exciting to do like a quarterly report. It's not that big of a deal, and I want to give you two reasons why you really should adopt this habit. So one, it's going to give you a great snapshot of where you're at. You know, if your goal for the year is to make $200,000 and at the end of Q2 you've only made $30,000, you've got some work to do and you need to look at that, see where the revenue is coming from and see where you can make adjustments. Second reason is it gives you an opportunity to look at your accomplishments and really give you some perspective on the quarter. On the quarter. <laughs> I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in did we meet that revenue goal, does the bank account have what we want, or we get focused on just one or two small things, and we kind of lose sight of the bigger picture. Like, did you grow your mailing list by a certain amount? Did you um, increase your number of proposals that you won? Did you create a webinar series or a product or work on a book or do something else that's going to really help you to grow your revenue and to increase your client base? And looking at those things on a quarterly basis can help you kind of step back and pat yourself on the back for the things you did do, even in light of maybe a couple things that you didn't do. Now, let's talk about how to do this. And I like to keep things really simple, as you know, because we're all busy and, you know, no one needs to do these giant corporate, like, you know, bound in triplicate reports. I keep mine really simple. It's actually a Word document, and I keep it as a living document so that I can go in as the quarter is going on and make notes whenever I do something that I know I will want that is a marker for something I want to track. So I've identified four key items that I like to track. I advise you do the same thing, especially just when you're starting. One is revenue. Two is mailing list growth. Three is proposals, including my win-loss ratio. And four is speaking engagements. So these are all key items that I believe help me grow my business. So I want to really look at how I'm executing on them on a quarterly basis. With revenue in particular, under that, I look at my source of revenue, including referral sources. And this helps me to understand what percentage of revenue I'm getting from my various service lines. And this has actually helped me to make adjustments in what I'm doing, because if I notice that one service line is growing where another one is not, and then I can um, try to leverage that growth and maybe understand where I should be putting more of my time. So looking at what's growing and what's not, and also referral sources. I have learned by taking a closer look at my business that there are some key referral sources that I have, and so I make sure I cultivate those relationships and see what else I can do to, to grow more relationships like that. Now, I use all of this information when I look at, at the end of a quarter to set goals for the next quarter, and it makes it really, really simple for me. And again, I keep this as a living document. It's in Word. Every time I do a proposal, for example, I go make a note in the quarterly report. So that way, it's not like at the end of the quarter I'm spending hours trying to pull stuff together. It's more, let me pull a couple of numbers and then just kind of take a, a few minutes, maybe an hour, to look at what happened over the course of the quarter. Now, this tool has helped me to double my income from my first year to my second year in business, and I'm on track to more than double between my second and my third year in business. So it really, really works, and it's very powerful once you get in the habit of doing it. Now, it's simple, but definitely work your time, worth your time, and that's what all of us busy girls need, right? So if you need help putting together a quarterly report or analyzing the results that you have or the information that you have or setting goals for next quarter, just give me, reach out to me. My email address is right down below. And let's have a chat and let's get you started on a path for action. All right, have a great day.